Dude, look at that. That is freaking amazing. What's up, Frank family? Hey, check it out. If you happen to see my last video, the Corvette Garage Makeover, you saw that we did the exterior walls and this Corvette Garage Decor. Now, being the person that reads all the comments on all my videos, I kept on seeing the same thing, and that was, why did I spend so much time on these walls, but I never took care of the floors? Well, thankfully, the people at Race Deck Garage Floors, we're gonna change all that today. And I wanna give a shout out to Aaron, who was my point person from the start to the finish of this whole project. Not to mention, let me explain to you what you get when you go through Race Deck. So, first of all, you contact Race Deck, and th their customer service is great. I happen to work with Mariah, and I'm gonna tell you how great this woman is. You send her the measurements of your floor and she will custom design your garage floor to specs. And that's what she did today. We did today. And we went ahead and we did a, uh, we have a whole diagram. She sends it to you and all you gotta do is put it the way, uh, put it down like the way they uh, have you install it. So, not to mention, what do you think about this so far? Dude, I love this product, man. It is very durable and it looks like it's gonna be really easy to install. The other thing I like about it is you install it and then you pull your car in yeah. um, with the epoxy. I don't want to do it because I have to leave my cars out. And I know you, you there's a way you leave your car out overnight. So it's ready to drive on immediately. Plus I go to a lot of houses in what I do for a living and I see a lot of the epoxy that after several years, it just doesn't look, it doesn't look good. Uh, yeah. It, you can see the tire marks and you see wear marks and things like that. So um, they did say you have to kind of redo them every few years and, and this stuff, I, I don't see that happening. I mean, this no, is- No, I mean, I, I just, I saw this and this is something I wanted, but um, I finally pulled the trigger and man, yeah, we got to install this because yeah. I'm Looking getting eager. Okay, before we begin, let's talk about some of the tools I'll be using for today's project. Now, the first thing I'm going to use is a speed square. You definitely want to have a marker so you can mark the tiles and then a protractor if you're going to do any kind of cord, uh, cutting of corners. I already know I have to do two 45 degree angle cuts so I went ahead and got this. Tape measure, definitely want a, a yard stick. You're going to want a rubber mallet, especially when it's uh, non-marring like this one to help with the uh, pounding of the tiles in. And then this is probably the biggest saving grace. I know that you can go through and you can uh, use a uh, skill saw, but if you use one of these uh, tile shears, this will create no dust and it'll have incredible sharp lines. And the final thing, you probably need to pick up some uh, cheap knee pads because you're going to be on your knees a lot today. And after a while, when I'm 50 years old, uh, these knees are starting to wear out. So let's get on this thing. filming each other beautiful weather because I, like I, I like your camera your cell phone man it's awesome so i have to get it on video <laughs> go pro <laughs> but look at the weather dude dude it's texas and sunny it's crazy i have pants on right now but i'm about to switch to shorts because oh. i think it's about it's gonna be too hot it's like 70. well let's do this major install let's get it done first one only 786 more to go uh so real quick if you see this black paint, so what I did beforehand, I have a one inch gap on certain parts of my garage, it's kind of elevated, so I went ahead and I went and painted some black epoxy to hide the uh, curvature of the concrete. And uh, so that's what I put down here, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to install all the upper deck, most of that, that we can with black, and then we'll come back and we will uh, install the main floor, which is the red and the graphite gray. But we may be talking in and out of, during this video, but. We gotta get started on this.
Okay, so that when you want to take these towels apart, it's very easy. You want to make sure you don't push it from the rear, you'll bust out these little tabs. All you're doing is make sure it's in the front, 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 take your knee, pop them out. Very easy. So for the last couple hours, Jason and I have been putting down the black around the whole upper part of the garage. And I'll tell you right now, that tile cutter has made a major difference in our install. And so what we're gonna do now, there's a couple pieces left that has to be done for the cutting in, but we wanna to get to this main floor. So we're gonna throw it on a time lapse. We're gonna start concentrating on that red uh, border that's around and the graphite in the middle before we uh, run out of daylight. Okay, we have Jason up here doing the uh, install. Any lessons learned? Yeah, um, it's definitely a lot easier if you're really rich and you hire somebody <laughs> to do this. That's the key, hire. But it's actually not that bad. Truthfully, it's not that bad. Mallet, each bruising your hand is a lot better and it's really good when you're doing big open areas like this because you're doing uh, two by two areas instead of 12 by 12 inch. So. Definitely makes a big difference. Okay guys, this is gonna do it. We finally got done. Um, it was a long day, but it, it was it was very long. <laughs> My fingers are killing me. So yeah. wear gloves. Yeah. We didn't wear gloves, but so we got it finished. Well, just about finished. Um, it's getting late in the day. We're gonna I'm gonna finish up some of the outside edges, but the majority of this is done. What do you think? Dude, I love it. I think it turned out fantastic. I mean, I loved the garage before, but yeah, your floor looked a little eh. You know, yeah. now it looks, and it's like, yeah, it's awesome. Dude, I, I love, first of all, so I can already tell you, it's, it's dead in some of the sound in here. Yeah. Um, I love it. I love it. We lost all that echo. Tritone. Yeah. Tritone. Tritone. This is tricolore. I gotta just say thank you to the people at uh, Race Deck. You have completely transformed my garage, and thank you for sponsoring this video. And uh, I can 100% re uh, recommend this. Definitely over epoxy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. we did this, look at this, no mess. Yeah. Literally no mess with that uh, cutter. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna messy. finish it up and the next episode of Corvette's Coffee and Installs will be, gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, It'll be 100% beautiful. Oh, amazing. So until next time, peace. Oh yeah, because I always forget this every time. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to Protective seat? <laughs> yeah. I always think I'm like protected dad Frank and front seat driver. And make sure you check out the comment section because you know I respond to every single comment. Ready for dinner? I'm ready for dinner. Hey man, I'm starving. <laughs>